internet is full of relationship advice. Man, woman, everybody seeking advice. It's either advice on money or advice on love. Money and love. The thing about relationships is it takes two people to want nothing else but each other and to build a life with each other. If either one or the other feels like they're in a position to discard the other if something doesn't go their way if they don't see the results that they may think there should be they discard the other human being that's what they do you're not going to be able to convince no one to be able to have a relationship with you who doesn't want it they may want better they want more they may feel like it's a mistake but if they stay with you they will stay with you in resentment the whole mindset the mindset every day waking up is from an operating system that is not going to be one that serves or desires to serve the other so you may have one who is wholeheartedly putting effort trying to serve and figure out the other person but it's it's like a short circuit you see what I'm saying a short circuit the energy goes through and combusts it's only it, it doesn't it cannot cycle it cannot circulate and so you know one of the things I've seen like for an example in Zanzibar Tanzania I was noticing how in the crack of dawn in the morning times the ladies are walking up and down the beach and they're picking up uh, they're forging um, sea moss picking up sea moss that have washed up on the shores. Some actually have sea, wa- sea moss farms, you know, that are about 20, 30 feet into the water, the shallow water. So they walk out there and they gather sea moss. And so I was thinking about how the women are working together and how there are several different generations all together and then about after they have gathered them then they you'll see them out laying them out in an area to sun dry organizing them cleaning them up beginning the process the same thing with the males you see the males get up in the morning and with their sons they go out on their boats makeshift boats boats that look like him and his son made or him and his father made and they go out into the sea fishing then later on in the evening the women you see are selling the fish at the market with their daughters the daughters take the orders or take the money or wrap up the plates and put the spoons and forks in there but you see a union between the male and the female to serve the next generation to keep the cycle of life going forward 
but we're living in a in a society kind of disconnected from our roots. So, of course, wh- whoever's the dominating voice is going to try to exercise their their concept of what things should or shouldn't be. And so one thing a man cannot do is tell a woman how to be a woman and what is what a woman should be. He can say what he wants from a woman, but he cannot shape society to fit what his desire is because he's only looking for one woman. And a woman is only wanting one man. And if she wants more than one man, then she's not a wife because wives only deal with one man. And husbands, it depends on your faith. And your faith should be your foundation, which means that the woman should know your faith before you even get into a bond. So if you are a man of polygamy, then if that's the foundation of your system of belief, it should be known. So that the woman knows And is, has been advised And if this is a woman's desire Because she knows that she doesn't want to have the obligation to fulfill Want a man for her By herself Let her establish these things Before bonds because if not, these things are destined to break bonds. Why men get married? married men get married to have a family. Otherwise, there's no, there's no point to get married if you are not trying to have children. It's an institution to serve the children, to serve the ancestors. And the ancestors lead us to God. Because only through our roots do we come into existence. (laughs) And when you go through your root, down your ancestry, It's going to go all the way back to two people. And then from those two, together they end up in a pyramid, which is one. A unity between the two that separated and became two life forms. Two opposing the shadow and the reflection. From the shadow and the reflection came the image. The image, that which was projected inside the imagination of the Creator. Because without the concept, (laughs) there is nothing. So, this is the reason why birth is called conception. Because we come from the concept The concept of life Alright so These are the words for today You know as you Are at work Or driving home Or delivering a package My hope is to inspire you to Explore both the word and world of God. This old lady told me once, she said, the word of God is your shield and your sword. <laughs> Until next time, thanks for listening to another Black Swan Radio.com, Illuminated Nubian.com production. If you would 
like to hear more content like this. This is a different vibe, different flavor, but it's authentic. It's real. It's it's about the food for thought that spark your imagination and desires to again go beyond and be extraordinary even with whatever resources you have sometimes we need a push <laughs> sometimes we need uh, a change in the content that we are consuming <laughs> and I'm telling you the word of God is your access to the world of God until next time peace <laughs>